Welcome everybody to my very first YouTube Tech video. In this video I will show you how to fix the air cup clicking noise which some users including me experience. Furthermore I will cover the scratching problem that the new Bose Hinge design brings. But first enjoy some Bose 700s footage. This here is where you can see problem number one. The scratches are depicted in the green circle. How does such an expensive headphone like the Bose 700s become scratched so easily? I will show you in the next shot what the culprit is. The two plastic tabs shown in the red circles are there to guide the hinge mechanism. However, the guiding makes them rub against the anodized headband that wears the plastic tabs pretty fast resulting in the striping you can see by the red arrows. This can be rubbed off because it's mainly painted plastic that's deposited on the black headband, but eventually the headband will become permanently scratched, so beware when you buy these Bose 700s of this problem. The next clip will show you the clicking, which can become quite noticeable when walking with the headphones or when scratching your head. This clicking can easily be heard through your highest level of noise cancelling. I designed a jig for a thin piece of PTV heatshrink tubing. In this video I will be showing the process with regular heatshrink tubing. This is actually too thick to use, but it shows the general idea nicely. I don't have the PTV stuff anymore, I lost it somewhere and I can't find it anymore. It's pretty expensive and I will be returning my headphones anyway, so I won't buy any new PTV heatshrink tubing anymore. This video is for the people who can't return the headphones anymore and want to fix this clicking issue or just, just in general for people that just want to watch stuff being modded. Okay, now with the print done, we can inspect the print, how it turned out. Then remove the build plate from the printer, remove the prints from the build plate, and rinse them in mineral spirits. My mirrors, mineral spirits are blue, because that's really cheap, that's something I can buy in a hardware store. And I don't use isopropanol anymore, because it's really expensive and it doesn't really add any value over this cheaper mineral spirit stuff so that's why I'm using the blue stuff the next step after washing will be curing I made a very crude curing lamp based off a PC heatsink and then soldered some, uh, some UV 405 nanometer LEDs to it and it does the trick for now, but I will be making a curing box in 
one of my next videos. Okay, now with the parts cleaned, cured, we can cut a piece of heat shrink tubing, which I explained before, this is actually too thick and you should use PTFE, Teflon based, really thin stuff, because it's, it's not as sticky as the stuff which I'm using right here, and it will prevent your air cups from kind of binding, which you can see in one of the next shots, that it will actually not fit inside the cavity. I will use a heating station, hot air station, in order to uh, not melt the plastic that I'm using at my mold, and this makes it really, really easy to, uh, to con in a controlled way, melt the plastic around the ridges. And of course, you could alter the shape of this mold and make it thicker or thinner, depending on how bad the gap in your headphones are. So now it's time to pull the three wings out of the jig so we can actually remove the plastic inserts and then we hopefully are left with one nice formed piece of heat tubing which ideally in your case would be made of PTFE. Okay now with the mold removed we can cut the rugged edges so we have a nice perfectly uh, cylinder that can slide on the, the headphone stems. You can clean out the white stuff that you can see inside of the heat shrink tubing with some isopropanol if you want to. And now you can actually slide the bit, that, like the rubber piece you just made, onto the stems. And if this is actually made of PTV it will slide much easier than this. And as you can see it will kind of bind it will not go as smoothly it will actually not go inside all the way but if you make this from thin PTFV tubing it will go inside and then the ridges will actually act as a as a cushion so they prevent the um, the stems inside the ear cup from rattling and then hopefully you can wear the headphones really nicely while walking while scratching your head without hearing the ticking noise and I hope you learned something from this and my next videos will be of course more in detail about maybe the CAD maybe the, the printing whatever you guys like as I was explaining I will be returning the headphones so that's why I didn't bother to buy the real PTFE again I have used it in the past and it did work but this is my fourth pair of Bose headphones and I had more issues I had also the inconsistency of the stiffness of the hinges so one ear cup would slide much easier than the other one uh, I had some button issues that buttons would press too easily and I cannot justify keeping them and modding them for 350 euros which is way too expensive for me and the Bose headphones the 700s are not bad by definition because the noise cancelling is great the air cups are really soft they have a lot of padding they uh, the, the cups themselves are really deep uh, I read about the Sony's that people tend to get uh, sore ears after wearing them longer periods of time which I never experienced for these bows but the problem just is that the inconsistency of the hinges uh, the scratching I cannot justify modding a 350 euro headphone uh, that should be good by definition, that, that should not need any modding in my opinion.
thank you all for watching. I hope I will see you in the next video.